My name is Marcello, and all of us from TACV would like to welcome you to the Source Audio Video Design Group's YouTube channel. Welcome back to those joining us again, and thank you for your continued support. On this channel, we discuss home audio and video, personal audio, home theater, home automation, and speak with some of the movers and shakers in the music and hi-fi industry. Today, we will be looking at the Odyssey Euclid Closeback In-Ears. This video will discuss some design features, build quality, and some of my initial sound impressions. My more in-depth sound impressions will be reserved for another video in this series when we compare them to another closed back in-ear around the same price point. But don't go anywhere, as I'm going to tell you how you can win a brand new pair of the Odyssey Euclid IEMs. Built from a large 18mm proprietary planner magnetic driver, the Euclid incorporates Odyssey's phaser waveguides to help eliminate phasing and distortion that you find with some closed back dynamic in-ears. The Euclid uses an efficient single driver design with Odyssey's Fluxor magnets and Uniforce voice coils to help reduce distortion and improve sensitivity. Due to Euclid's high sensitivity of 105 dB per 1 milliwatt, they should pair well with almost any high resolution audio player. The gold-plated MMCX plug terminations provide a durable and secure connection with excellent included Odyssey braided cables. The body of the Euclid is made of precision milled aluminum with a matte black finish, touches of gold, and capped with a layer of carbon fiber. The Euclid has a small 5mm ear port and a braided cable to route behind the ear, allowing for good stability and comfort. I have always preferred headphones or speakers for most of my music listening, as finding a good fit with an IEM and obtaining the correct seal can be a bit challenging with my ears. However, utilizing the included Compli foam ear tips and SpinFit silicone ear tips allowed me to get a better fit and seal than the standard Odyssey silicone ear tips. Weighing only 15 grams without the cable, the weight of the Euclid felt good during my initial listening sessions. The Euclid has an impedance of 12 ohms and a frequency response of 10 Hz to 50 kHz and includes a 4.4 mm Pentacon balance cable, Bluetooth cipher module, quarter inch TRS adapter, Pelican 1010 travel case, mesh fabric bag, cleaning brush, cable clip, assorted ear tips, and an Odyssey certificate of authenticity. Including so many accessories and the Pelican storage case is an excellent value proposition to the Euclid, especially when taking them on the road with you as the Pelican case helps to keep everything together and protected. My initial sound impressions of the Euclid using the included Bluetooth module and my Chord Hugo 2 are very positive. I find them to have an easygoing signature that can be listened to for longer listening sessions. They have good detail and resolution, allowing me to see into some of my favorite recordings when listening. Instrument separation when listening to the Grateful Dead's Friend of the Devil is excellent, as are vocals. The soundstage also sounds cohesive and has good dimension. Imaging and definition are well done as you would expect from most planar magnetic designs. Listening to Fleetwood Mac Dreams, I'm easily able to place the vocalists and instruments on the soundstage. To my ears, the Euclid soundstage sounds spacious, surrounding you as you listen. The bass is tastefully done, with pleasant warmth and enough energy to enjoy all genres of music. For the bass heads of the world, however, the Euclid may leave you wanting a little more. However, I think they are great for my taste, not sounding muddy, allowing pop and electronic music to sound very enjoyable. The dynamics, however, are a bit softer than what I generally prefer, but then again, this might not be a bad thing as too much punch could become a bit more fatiguing for me with an IEM. The mid-range is quite good from the Euclid, allowing vocals and instruments to sound rich without ever sounding too forward or too dark. There is still plenty of clarity throughout the mid-range, so vocals and instruments come across clearly and well separated from each other. The treble of the Euclid isn't fatiguing, which is probably one of the reasons I found them so enjoyable. The lower treble sounds to have a bit more energy than the upper treble regions. Treble heads, however, may not get enough clarity, sparkle, and air up top to be fully satisfied. For many listeners, the treble is probably just right though. So who wants to win a pair of Euclid IEMs? With the support of Odyssey, we want to thank all of you who have been following or subscribing to our YouTube channel, email newsletter, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter by giving back to the community. So for this month's giveaway, one lucky winner in the USA will win a pair of Euclid IEMs. I will link to the contest in the video description below where you can sign up for the contest giveaway, read the full contest rules, and of course there is no purchase necessary to enter. Make sure you follow all our social channels and sign up for our newsletter so you know when we will announce the winner and that you can be aware of future contests and giveaways on this channel and our other social pages. There are multiple ways to increase the number of entries you earn, which only take a couple of minutes, so don't wait, check out the link in the video description below. A big thanks to Odyssey for their support and to all of you who follow this channel from all of us from TSAV. We are grateful for all of you. Good luck and see you in the following comparison video.